Hey guys, how's it going? It's Vicious. Today I am working on another tutorial video. I'm still doing the, the O-Ring mod on my second DOS keyboard. And uh, when I did the first one, I didn't know if I was going to pull off the stabilized keys or not because it can be a, a dangerous process if you don't know what you're doing. But I took the chance and I found it really wasn't too difficult. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the method that I use to remove the stabilized keys so that if you ever have to do it yourself, you should have a good method to do it. So I'm trying to stay out of the camera the best as I can, but we'll see how it looks when I put it all together. First things first, I'm going to do the space bar because it'll be the easiest to see. It's also the easiest to do, so you might want to practice with that one. I'm going to go ahead and pull off all the keys around it just to make this a little bit easier. So let's see. I got the, the cheap generic key puller I'll use to pull these, these alt keys off with. For the space bar though, I'm actually going to use my self-fashioned pullers because I can get to both sides of it. So here's the trick. The key is only on one switch in the center, and on, on both sides the stabilizers are there. You want to pull up with a constant but controlled force, just enough to pull the key off of the switch, but not put tension and pressure on the stabilizers causing some kind of damage. So I'm going to do that now. That was it. It really didn't take a whole lot of force there. Now the key is loose. What you want to do is just kind of work it a little bit so that you can kind of push it back. You push it back like this and you're going to expose the underside of the key. And what you're going to have here is a metal bar that is slid into two plastic tabs on each end of the key. Someone said use needle nose pliers, but for me I found that a flat screwdriver worked much easier. This, this one here is actually just the right size to fit in there and bend the metal out of the way. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pushing on the key one way and prying on the metal bar the other way just to get enough clearance to remove the metal bar out of the stabilizer and remove the key. I'm going to be kind of twisting the screwdriver a little bit to make sure that I'm prying the with at an angle as much as possible and not just pulling on the bar. I'm going to have to navigate around here and try and do this and still have it on camera. Okay, got it removed. Now I'm just going to slide the key the opposite direction. And voila. Plastic stabilizers right here, both sides unaffected. The metal stabilizer bars here are switches in the middle. To put it back on, you just do the reverse. You're going to slide it on. And actually, I'll just go ahead and do it. I'll just show you. Put my O-ring on here. Okay, so you gotta kind of put the key halfway over the switch to get it lined up, and you can use the screwdriver and push down on the center of the stabilizing bar to pick it up while you can't reach it with your fingers. And again, I'm gonna have to kind of get in front of the camera to do this. Oh, and I got a little bit of the grease on my hand too. Alright, that was a little bit harder because of the angle I'm working at. 
But once you uh, get it on there, you have the key on the stabilizers. You just want to work with it until you get it over the switch. There you go. When you're doing the enter key, shift key, and the others, it, it's much easier if you make sure you remove the keys in front and the, beside it to make it easier on yourself. So if you have to move your stabilized keys off of the DOS and any other keyboard model that shares the same kind of stabilizer, now you know how to do it, and I hope you have good luck.